Okay, fam. Welcome, Suits and Scents. Today, family, the day is special. This is a special video. I'm gonna give you my top 20, my top 20 fragrances from the house of Creed. I call it the house of the distinguished gentleman. That's what I call it. That's my title for it. The house of the distinguished gentleman. Gorgeous fragrances family and excellent quality. Uh, the name itself, just the name Creed itself, I mean, from the longevity that they've been in business, just says a lot from it. It, just, it truly just, just says a lot. Um, I had did a top Creed before some time ago. Uh, some fragrances got, you know, added to the list. Um, but yeah, this right here, this one is really, really, really special. My top 20. Creed fragrances, the house of the distinguished gentleman. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, um, first time viewers, thank you for tuning into the channel Suits and Scents. Before you make any decisions, if you like, go back and check out some other videos on Suits and Scents and go from there. Uh, continue viewers and subscribers. Much love. Truly appreciate you. Can't stop. Won't stop. Not gonna stop. The only thing I ask, the only thing I ask is that you please hit the bell notification. So when I drop that fire, you'll know that huh, it's, it's coming like, mm, yeah, it's, it's hot. It's coming. Just just hit the bell notification. That's all I ask. All right, we're going to let the intro roll. We're going to get into my top 20 Creed fragrances. All right, let's do it. All right, fam. First up on the deck is Erofa. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I base all of my prices off of Neiman Marcus. That's at the high end. Well, better yet, you know what? Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Instead of giving an exact price, let's just say that all of these fragrances are above $350. Okay? All of them are above $350 based on Neiman Marcus. Now, all I'm going to say is, do your research, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Do your research. Erofa came out in 1992. Gorgeous fragrance. One, now, this one right here, there are a few others, but this one is a beautiful spring summertime fragrance. It truly is. The lime, bergamot, and what makes this stand out from some of the other ones is the melon, the melon that's in here. When you got lemon, uh, 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 some pine, some nutmeg, sandalwood. Gorgeous fragrance. It, it, it opens extremely citrus. Extremely citrus, but then it dries down. The citrus stays there, but it dries down and mellows out a little bit to a nice spring, uh, somewhat mild uh, citrus fragrance. That's Erofa in the 20 spot. Beautiful uh, spring summer fragrance. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, fam. Next is Royal Water, Royal Water. Now, another came out in 1997, 96, came out one of those. This is another one that is another perfect spring, summer uh, vibe with, you know, with the citrus in the opening, the lemon, the uh, mandarin orange, uh, the uh, bergamot, uh, basil, but then it, it, the citrus really doesn't go away, but the, 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 the cedar and the musk that comes in there kind of, kind of to tones it down a little bit, but still perfect spring summertime fragrance. Perfect. Creek has some nice, fresh, uh, spicy, uh, uh, citrus fragrances uh in the early the late 90s they really did late 90s early 2000s yeah it was on point with that all right let's get to uh 18. okay fam next 
I guess you can tell by the bottle. Silver Mountain Water. These first three, straight citrus, straight summertime, straight spring, uh, fresh, spicy, um, all those good things with, with, with the lemon, the bergamot, the lime, all those things that the, uh, some of you have met, um, pine. But Silver Mountain Water is has a little extra kick of spice to it with the black currant. So that's the difference with, uh, that kind of pushes Silver Mountain Water. Uh, not, not away from the fresh and spicy, but adds a little bit more edge to it. Adds a little bit more edge to it. That's Silver Mountain Water. Came out in 97? 95. Came out in 95, I believe. Like I said, the late 90s for Creed, uh, they was pushing those doggone fresh fragrances out there. The first four was the all freshies. All freshy citrus fragrances. All right. Let's get to the next one. All right, fam. Next, again, I guess you can tell by the bottle, Millicene Imperial. Millicene Imperial. The original. Now, uh, uh, this came out in 1995. Like I said, the, the late mid to late 90s, they was pushing them out there. This one is fresh, it's spicy, but it's more on a like aquatic marine type vibe. Yeah, uh, now, that's what really made this one a true lover because when it dried, that, oh man, on a cruise with that one, yeah, on a um. This one and another one, perfect for a cruise. Um, another one that's in this countdown. But here, or like down in the island somewhere, yeah, this one does it. It does it. I'm telling you, Millicene Imperial. The, the just the freshness with the uh, floor with the iris, and they got some fruity notes, and then the woody notes in there on the dry down. Really, what maintains the depth in uh, Millicene Imperial? Beautiful fragrance. Truly, truly beautiful fragrance. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, fam. Okay, fam. Next, we're going to Royal Mayfair. Royal Mayfair. Came out in 2015, 16. One of those years came out one of those years. Now, this one is somewhat of a fresh uh, uh, citrus uh, uh, fragrance. Slightly. Because it has lime in it, but it got pine in it, uh, some ginger. But what really turns it or keeps it from going, you know, like the other ones in that fresh is the rose. The rose in here, when the rose appears, it takes over the fragrance. But then the citrus tries to battle its way back and you got some woody notes in there. And it uh, tones the citrus down and the rose really stands above all with this one. But it's, I wouldn't call it. Well, I guess you could call it a rose fragrance, but with that citrus mix, okay, I put it to you like this. I will say that this could be the only rose, well, I'm not going to say the only, but one of the best rose citrus fragrances in the game that is prominent with both notes that stand out. The citrus notes and the rose note, they both stand out. A very, very unique fragrance in uh, Royal Mayfair. You will love it. I promise you that. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, fam. Next is uh, Viking. Now, I wasn't a fan of Viking Cologne. I wasn't a fan of that at all. So I can let you know right from the break that Viking Cologne will not be in here. I'm not saying it's not a good fragrance, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I put in this list what I feel, what I'm feeling, what I like. And there you go. Viking came out in 2017, 2017. This, this, to me, this fragrance, it tried to push the boundaries and go with the citrus, with the bergamot, the uh, lemon and the orange, but it didn't quite in the opening year, slightly avert to my nose. It was in and out. Then the floor took over with the uh, lavender, uh, uh, some rose, some jasmine. Then on the dry down, the citrus, to me, the citrus is gone. The floral is still slightly, but the white musk, the tonka bean, uh, and uh, the woody notes, I think it's cedar, I believe, 
really matures the fragrance and take it out of the citrus realm. The floral is still there, but that maturity really showed up on the dry down and uh, Viking really does. Really, really does. That they, they, they Viking to me is the fragrance where it transitions from all the freshies to, you know, the more subtle, mature type uh, fragrances. All right. All right. Let's get to the next one. Okay, fam. Okay, okay. Now you cannot do a top creed without adding something for the ladies. Oh my goodness. That love in white. That love in, you with in this spot you could either win love in black or love in white. Either or would have been absolutely perfect. Me, I went love in white. Man, look. If, I'm gonna tell you, if I'm gonna do a video, five fragrances that your girl should have, and if they don't, you need to be punched in the face. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that video. Watch, um, yeah, perfect, 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 perfect uh, uh, fragrance family came out in. Mm, when did this come out? I don't remember. Look it up. But absolutely beautiful fragrance. The magnolia, the jasmine, the rose. But what really gets it, and opening got the bergamot, but it's the sandalwood and the vanilla blended with that floral oh i'm not gonna lie i've i wear this i do i do i ain't even gonna front summertime oh yeah yeah but the thing is the women was like what is that i'm trying to tell you because they wouldn't expect the man to wear it Ooh, secret all right let's get to the next one <laughs> all right fam next is virgin island water now this another fresh aquatic beautiful fragrance the only drawback with virgin island water is the longevity beautiful gorgeousness fragrance it truly is it's just that it doesn't last for nothing you have like i'm almost halfway through the bottle i mean by the next summer the bottle be conan and gone you have to keep what well, I know with me. I mean, I'm an oversprayer and I had to reapply an overspray again because the fragrance just didn't last. But it is a beautiful fragrance. Remember the two fragrances I was saying you should take on a cruise? Uh, this is the other one. Virgin Island Water. Cruise or on a tropical island somewhere. You had lime, coconut, all those good, beautiful things in there. Virgin Island Water. You will love it. Try to just the longevity sucks. That's all. All right. That's the only knock on it. Okay, let's get to the next. One. Okay, fam. Next. Now, this next fragrance, it was designed and geared and marketed for the ladies. It was. But another secret. I rocks it. I do. Mm. Oh, yeah. I rock that sucker. I ain't love I do. I rocks it. I rocks it. I rocks it. Carmina came out in 2023. The black cherry in this is just mwah, magnificent, beautiful. The rose, the cashmere, um, just just a gorgeous fragrance. And on the dry down, the myrrh and I believe uh, frankincense add a little kick to it, a, just a little kick to it. Mm, mm, mm. Carmina, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, fam. All right, fam. We're halfway there. Number 10. We're in the 10th spot. I told you I'm doing the top 20. I'm doing the top 20. We're almost there. Stick in there with me. Stick in there with me. We're almost there. The fragrance. Cabaron Melisine. Mm, 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 mm. Listen. You talking about sexy gorgeousness? Right there. Look, there's nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. That is just one absolutely gorgeous, freaking sexy fragrance right there. It came out in 2000. Beautiful. And to me, what makes this fragrance, uh, what makes this fragrance so sexy and appealing, the ginger and the tobacco. Yes. Yeah. Opening, you know, you know, pre got that thing with the citrus and opening uh, tangerine and bergamot, I believe in the opening but that ginger and that tobacco oh oh god that thing is sexy oh that's sexy 
Oh, that's sexy. That is sexy. Oh, I gotta make sure I got the spray on right now. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, woohoo. The opening with the citrus and then it just transitioned with the tobacco and the ginger. Yeah. Mm, ooh, mm, ooh, tamarind medicine. Let's get to the next one. All right, fam. In the next spot, yeah, okay. Listen, listen, listen. For this next, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up here. Aventus, okay? Ain't no need to talk about it. It's been labeled as the king and all that good things, whatever. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous fragrance. When it came on the scene, it took the world by storm. Even UFOs came down from Mars to get some of that fragrance. Oh, that, no, that type of nice. Mm, shouldn't have did that. Uh, but yeah, that's Aventus, okay? All right, all right, let's get on to the next one. All right, in the ninth spot, in the ninth spot, I love this fragrance right here. Yes, Neroli Sauvage, Neroli Sauvage. You talking about one of, not the best, but one of the best spring summertime fragrances. You could wear this anywhere 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 i'm telling you college graduations oh you gonna set the place on fire yes mm. neroli savage let's move along okay all right now this next one i have to explain i explained this in a video before now if you are Frequent to Neiman Marcus, you know, sometimes they do uh, Atomizer sales and you know, they sell it to you in pretty pretty little case or whatever and They say you an know, Atomizer. So they had a sale going on and I bought the next fragrance Which is boys de Portugal boys de Portugal. I'm halfway through it If I run out of this then of course I'll be going to buy a full bottle But I don't need to right now because I have this boys de Portugal boys de Portugal now this one you talking about mm, sophistication? I'm sorry. Now, yeah, I had said that this is the, uh, the, the creed is the house of the distinguished gentleman. This is the sophisticated gentleman, boys to Portugal. That's not no little boy fragrance right there. That's grown man. That's, that's 50 plus fragrance. 50 years old or plus. That's 50 plus fragrance right there. Mm, 50 plus fragrance. I'm telling you, yes it is. And I say yet again, yes it is. Came out in 1987. Uh, you got the woody notes, you got the bergamot, you got uh, some floral, I believe that's lavender, sandalwood, cedar, just a gorgeous fragrance. Boys of Portugal, all right? Let's get to the next one. Okay, fine. Next, we got original Santal, original Santal. Came out 2005. Look. You talking about mm, what? Mm, look, oh God! At that point, uh, Central <laughs> Creed was, I believe they was transitioning out of the citrus type stage or whatever, trying to venture into new things or new fragrances or new scent DNAs. And original Santal really took them there. Gorgeous fragrance, beautiful fragrance. It really did it. They still had some citrus in there, bergam bergamot, mandarin, orange, uh, but the ginger, the ginger is what added that spice to it. Sandalwood, a lavender, some geranium, a musk. Original Santal, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It really did it for them. It truly did it for them. All right, all right, let's move along. We're trying to get there. Stick with me. Hang in there. We're trying to get there. Let's get to the next one. Okay, this next one, we don't even need to talk about it. It's a home run hitter for the house. Green Irish Tweed. Okay, um, this came out, oh shoot, when did this come out? 80 something, I believe. 1980 something, I believe. Or maybe even before that. Green Irish Tweed, look. Mm, yeah, we, we, we just got to, we just got to, it's a must. Mm, 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 mm. Whew, yeah. Yeah, again, Green Irish Tweed. Mm, that's all need to be said. Let's move along. We're in the top five. To uh, get this video to move along, we're going to 
Oh, 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 mm. <laughs> Aventus Cologne, Aventus Cologne, gorgeousness, gorgeousness. The Aventus DNA, which it has, but it, it, uh, it's just, it got something to it, man. The, the sweetness in it is just sharper. The edge is just sharper. It's just magnificent. I prefer, as you can see, is in the countdown. I prefer this over Aventus. And I said that when I did the video with all four Aventus. This one right here, I prefer over that. Ah, oh, that green out. I shouldn't have did that one either. God. And that, mm. Creed got some. Yeah. Now, y'all, as you, as you know, what my favorite house is, but Creed is, yeah, that, that has to be number two. That has to be my second favorite house. Mm. Just because of the quality. Aventus Cologne. All right, let's get to the uh, number number four. Let's get to number four. All right, number four is Aventus Absolute. Man, look now. You know you can keep hearing all the talk about how they're riding off the coattail of Aventus and not really putting anything good out. But when they came out with Absolute, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I say it again. Yeah, they did this one. They really, really, really did this one. That, that, that's a beautiful fragrance right there. Mm. Oh, I'm not even going to smell it anymore. Like I said, when I first started this fragrance game, I used to sniff, but now I smell slowly. I'm trying to tell you, I bent this absolute beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. Can't stop smelling that greenhouse tweed. Oh, let's get to number. What are we at? Number three. Let's get number three. All right, fam. Next is <laughs> this one here. Another fragrance that I would say yes is geared toward the women, which it is. But I rocks it. I wears it, and I absolutely love it to the fullest full of gorgeousness queen of silk that's my number three spot yeah i did i put it in front of absolute i did i'm, I'm just saying i did i put it in front of absolute and so what you haven't smelled it i tell you what you let me know what you think do you think queen of silk is better than absolute i mean this is just a whole different take oh god came out in 2024 um, all the floral notes that are in here that mixed together, the saffron, the two roasts, all the good stuff, the, uh, the, the fruit accord, all of that is good, but it's when the oud comes in there and tones it down with the vanilla, the, uh, I think that cedar, uh, myrrh, when all of that come in there and grab a hold of everything and brings it down to say, Sit down. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. It does something to you. I'm telling you, Queen of Silk, I'm feeling that one. Yes, I am. It will be Conan destroyed, gone, never to return to the afterlife. That it will be. I promise you that. Oh, you can wear this any season. I'm going to rock this in the winter. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I say yet again, yes, I am. Let's get to number two. Okay, fam. In the two spot, in the second, in second place in the number two spot. Oh, by the way, today I had apple juice. Didn't have pineapple juice. I had apple juice, organic apple juice. That's what I had today. Candles. Let's keep moving. Aventus Triple Age. You know, some people saying, no, it's a gimmick. It's not real. It's not that. If you haven't really smelled them both, then you cannot comment and say me i pick up on the difference this one i would say it just they're both similar i'm not gonna say they're not but on the dry down the ginger and this thing is like a overdose and it is just superbly matured oh man damn i wish i wouldn't have sprayed all that stuff mm. aventus absolute triple h beautiful now the regular absolute is gorgeous as well. It is. It's gorgeous as well. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not. But the triple age one, oh, that thing kicks your 
teeth out. Nice gorgeousness. Will this one be Conan? Um, oh, God, that thing is so, so deep and sultry and just voluptuous. Oh, Triple H. Yes, that's in the second spot. Let's get to my number one Creed fragrance of all time. And it will always be my number one Creed fragrance because of sentimental reasons. I'm telling you, let's get to it. If, if you have seen a few of my videos before, and when we talk about the House of Creed and this one particular fragrance, then you should already know it's Royal Oud. Royal Oud. <sighs> this one right here. I'm not even going to tell the story, but about Niche. Not even going to tell the story. But that one right there is, is, is personal to me. This has sophistication. This has maturity. This has a dis the top level of distinguishedness that you could ever reach in any society. I promise you, Royal Oud, absolutely beautiful, absolutely the best, absolutely gorgeousness. Royal Oud is my number one Creed fragrance of all time and will always be. Just saying, just saying. Now, Triple H, and to give it a run for its money, but to give it a run for its money, I will admit that. But Royal Oud, yeah, I had to slow down on it because I, I can't co-name this one. I just can't because I'm worried that the new batches just might not give me the <laughs> wet draws effect that <laughs> Royal Oud, that, that this bottle does. All right, fam, I gave you my top 20 Creed fragrances and now it's time to be out of here. First time viewers, thank you for tuning into the channel, Soups and Sets. Continue viewers and subscribers, much love. Truly appreciate you. Can't stop, won't stop, not gonna stop. Hit that bell notification, fam. Hit the bell notification. To the next one, deuces. One through 20, and we out.